Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making the Silver Granny Baby Blanket. Why this pattern is so great, it works up just as fast as the Drunken Granny, except the stitches line up perfectly. It looks so put together and organized, like a straight C to C. It has a natural straight edge, so if having a crooked edge is something that you struggle with, this <laughs> recipe, this pattern will totally just naturally give you a perfectly straight edge. Also included in the tutorial is this sweet little border which just finishes off the blanket and makes it look super cute. It's a one row repeat, just with double crochets, chains, and a single crochet, and you do the exact same thing for every single row, so it works up really great. It uses six 100 gram skeins for the entire blanket, plus 50 grams for the border, so 650 grams. It makes a wonderful gift for any new baby, and plus it could also be made any size. You don't have to actually make it a baby blanket. It would look wonderful on any bed, even king size. It would be so fantastic. It has a lovely texture to it, just like a C to C, except it's worked in the row. So if a C to C is something you like the look of, but you're scared of working on the diagonal, this is the perfect solution for that. You can see how it's a bit bumpy, textured, just like a C to C, but worked in the row. The finished size of this blanket is 33 inches wide by 41 inches tall, or 84 centimeters wide and 104 centimeters tall. If you'd like the written pattern to go along with this tutorial, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. There's a ton of written patterns over there, so I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Just click that little arrow that says show more and all the links will pop up. To make this awesome baby blanket, I'm going to be using six skeins of yarns, and I'm using this Softly Baby from Ice Yarns, which is my absolute favorite baby yarn because it is so absolutely soft. They are 100 gram skeins, 50% acrylic and 50% polyamide, 100 grams, 210 meters and it is a three weight yarn or a DK weight. For the border, I'm also gonna have some white. I'll be using a six millimeter crochet hook for this pattern, but you can use whatever hook goes along with your yarn. I go up about one or two sizes, depending what my yarn says. Softly Baby recommends a four millimeter needle, and I'm gonna be using a six millimeter crochet hook. So I'm going up two millimeters, just because I want my blanket to be super soft and super squishy. You'll also need some stitch markers, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. We're gonna start by making a slip knot, so any which way you normally do, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. And pop that onto your hook. You of course can make this blanket any size just by making your starting chain longer or shorter. We're gonna be making it baby blanket size, so 35 inches across or 90 centimeters. And just chain multiples of four. So one, two, three, four. And if you're new to crochet or worried about working into your chain, we can just pop a stitch marker right underneath your hook, just into this bottom loop. Just pop one stitch marker. One, two, three, and four. Pop another stitch marker. If you are an experienced crocheter, you can just work your way along without putting in the stitch markers. These stitch markers will just help us work into our chain as we work our way back along. So pause the video, 112 chains, or the width that you would like your blanket to be. So I've chained my 112 and with my stitch markers in there. So when your chain is the width that you want your blanket to be, chain two, one, and two. We're gonna start in the second chain from the hook so we don't count what's on our hook and we just count these loops right underneath. So there is one here, one loop, and there's two. So we're gonna go into this second loop right here, the one right before the stitch marker. So into the second chain from the hook, just push your hook straight in. You want two strands of that chain on your hook and one underneath. Make one single crochet. So bring your yarn back and wrap your yarn and take off two. That is a single crochet. Chain two, one, two, and into the very same spot, we're gonna do four double crochets. 
So wrap your yarn and into the same chain, four double crochets all into the same spot. There's one, two, three, and four. So now we're going to skip three chains and work into the fourth. And that is always going to be the chain right before the stitch marker. So there's the loop with the stitch marker. We're going to go in to the loop right before. So pop your hook straight in and make one single crochet. Chain two, one and two and four double crochets into the same chain. So we're going to do one of these little shells into every fourth chain going back. So there's one double crochet, two, three, and four. And skip along. We want to make sure our chain's not twisted. You want to make sure you can see these pretty little V's all the way with your stitch markers hanging on the one side. And then before the next stitch marker, right here, push your hook in, one single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets into the same chain. So that's why we have these stitch markers. We don't really have to look for our chains or stress out about which one it is. But if you are not using stitch markers, you're going to skip three and work into every fourth chain going back. There we go, there's our four double crochets. Skip three or go into the chain before our stitch marker, right there. One single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets, all into the same chain. There's one, two, three, and four. So that is what your work is going to look like. Keep going along, making one single crochet, a chain two, and four double crochets into the chain right before each of these stitch markers going all the way along your work. And I'll meet you when you get to the end of your row. When you get close to the end of your row, we're going to do the same thing. So right before our stitch marker, do one of our blocks. So single crochet, chain two and four double crochets into the very last chain. So not the knot, <laughs> not the knot, the loop right after the knot, just that bottom loop will go in right, right there and make one single crochet. And that finishes off our row, just like that. Chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. And every row now is going to be the same. So we're always going to end with a single crochet and a chain three. Turn our work. And we're going to work right into that single crochet we made. Right into that nice big space. And we're going to make two double crochets. So right into that first stitch or that single crochet. Two double crochets. One and two. And now into our chain two spaces is where we're going to work all the way back along our row. So into the chain two space, we're going to build our block. So one single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets all into that same space. So this is when the pattern starts picking up. It starts getting quicker because we're not working into that fiddly chain anymore. Now we're working into nice big spaces just like that. So jump straight over into the next chain two space and we'll do the same thing all the way along this row. So one single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets all into the same space. Two, three, and four. 
And of course you can go along and take out all your stitch markers. We're done with all of those now. And now keep working along your row into each one of these chain two spaces, doing the same block that we did down below. So one single crochet, chain two, and four double crochet. So that's all we're doing for this entire pattern actually, is just building one of these blocks into each of those spaces, working all the way along each row. Just like that, and jump straight into the chain two space to pin that down with a single crochet, chain two, and four double crochet all into the same space. So this is what it looks like. Pause the video and keep going along this row doing your block of single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets into each of these chain two spaces going all the way along. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, we're gonna go into that last chain two space and do our single crochet and chain three. One, two, three. So that's always how we're gonna be ending our row. Single crochet into the last space with a chain three. Turn your work. And this is always how we're gonna start our row with two double crochets right into that same stitch, that single crochet. So wrap your yarn into that very first stitch, two double crochets, one and two. So that is our repeat. Now we're gonna go along and do a block into each of these chain two spaces, going all the way along. So into the first chain two spot, single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets. And I keep doing that all the way along this row until the end of the row. So your rows will look like this. So we're gonna work into the next chain two spot as we always do, so single crochet, chain two and four double crochets. Into the last chain two spot, we'll do our single crochet and now we'll do our turn. So chain three, one, two, three, turn your work. And two double crochets right into that same spot, that same single crochet. So wrap your yarn and two double crochets. One and two. So that's always how we're gonna turn every single row. And now keep going along doing the same thing. So building one of your blocks, single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets into each of these spaces going all the way along your row. And do the exact same thing at the end, which is single crochet, chain three, turn, and two double crochets. So keep going like this until your blanket is either the size you want it to be or you're ready to change color. To change your color at the end of your row, we're just gonna do that right when we make our single crochet. So start your single crochet, just put your hook in and grab your yarn and bring it back. Now hold that tail along the back side of your work. Grab a loop of your new yarn. You wanna leave a long enough tail to sew in with a needle and finish that single crochet with your new color. Drop your tail. So now you're holding two tails along the back of your work. And chain three. One, two, three. Now you can let go and turn your work. So still holding those tails down, you'll do your two double crochets. One and two. You can take your ends and give them a little knot. Cut your old yarn and sew in your tails. And that is your new color started. When you have finished your six balls or your blanket is the size you want it to be, just finish off that row, cut your yarn, chain one, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So now we're ready to put on a cute little border. So I'm gonna start in the previous corner and the corner is just the top of this chain three, way down here. So that is the edge of our blanket, right there. 
So put your hook into the top of that chain three. Loop of yarn on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain three. One, two, and three. Single crochet into the chain two space. Chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next chain three space. So we're just building a little edge around our blanket. Chain three, single crochet into the space. Chain three, single crochet into that chain two space. Chain three, single crochet into the space. So we're just building this little edge around our blanket to start our border. Don't worry about it being a bit tight. That is good. We want it like that so it'll keep our blanket from stretching out. So keep going along the top of your blanket, chaining three and making one single crochet into the chain two space. All the way along and I'll meet you at the corner. At the end of the row, do your chain three and single crochet right into that last stitch, the single crochet at the edge of that row, and chain three again, one, two, three, and this is going to be our new corner. So into that very same stitch, one more single crochet. So that builds our little corner for our border on the next round, and chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to go along and single crochet right into that join, right where our color is connected one single crochet and chain three one two three and now we're going to work all the way down the side making a chain three and a single crochet right into these spaces or into this stitch all the way down our row so chain three two three and single crochet chain three and single crochet one two three chains and single crochet right into that same stitch where the chain three and double crochets came from right into that stitch one single crochet so now keep going like that all the way along this row and i'll meet you at the end of this side at the end of this side we're going to work our corner right into the very same stitch we did all the way along the side, that same spot where our chain three and two double crochets came from. So just put your hook straight in and make one crochet, chain three, and rotate your work a little bit, and one more single crochet into the very same spot. So that'll give us a new corner for our next round of our border just right there. Now keep going along this side, do a chain three, one, two, and three. And now we're not going to work into that big spot, not that big loop of yarn, we're going to work right after it. So not the big space, but the space right after. We're going to push our hook right in, so one single crochet, chain three, and into the next little stitch, not the big space, the stitch right after, one single crochet. Chain three, and into the next little stitch right after the space, one single crochet. So it'll look like that. It'll feel a bit tight, but don't worry about that. We like that. So chain three again. One, two, three. And find that little stitch right after the big space and one single crochet. So now keep going like this, chaining three and putting one single crochet into the stitch after that space. And I will see you at the end of this side. At the end of this bottom side, the bottom edge of our blanket, we're going to find the same stitch. So that very first stitch right after that space. You just kind of look, you'll see it. You can wiggle your fingers in there to find it. We're going to do our corner. So corners, one single crochet. Rotate your work a little bit so your next side is waiting for you. And chain three. 
into the very same stitch, one more single crochet. So there is your corner, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, all into the same stitch. And that finishes off the bottom edge of our blanket, chain three. And now find that very same stitch again, as we did on the other side, one single crochet, chain three. Find the next stitch, right where those chain, the chain three and two double crochets come from. And we're gonna do that all the way along this row. So into each of those stitches, that will be where we're putting our single crochets. And we're gonna keep going like this all the way up along the side of our blanket. So pause the video and I'll meet you when we get to the end of this side. At the end of this side, we're right back where we started. We're gonna work right into the same stitch where we joined our yarn. So you can kind of pull at it a bit to find the same spot and push your hook in and make one single crochet, chain three. And now we're gonna work in right into the center of that slip stitch where we joined our yarn, right in between those two strands of yarn. So you're gonna go ahead, push your hook in, right in between those two strands of yarn and make one slip stitch to join, just like that. And that gives us our last corner, a nice little spot to build our border. Chain one, and we're gonna make one single crochet right into that same stitch. So one single crochet. Now into the big space, we are gonna build our little shells right into the space. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet. Just like that, wrap your yarn twice and we're gonna make two treble crochets. So that's a triple takeoff. Wrap your yarn and take off your yarn three times. So two treble crochets into the same space and then one double crochet, finish it off. Into the stitch, one single crochet, and that gives you a cute little shell right into that space. And we're gonna do that for every space going along our blanket. So one double crochet into the space, two treble crochets, there's one, and here is two, and one double crochet single crochet into the stitch, just like that. So we're gonna do the same thing, building these cute little shells into each of these spaces, going all the way along the side of our blanket. Each chain three spot will get the same little shell of a double crochet, two trebles, and one double. So into the next spot, one double crochet. Wrap your yarn twice and two treble crochets. There's one. And here is two and one double crochet. Single crochet into the stitch to pin it all down. And you're gonna repeat that all the way along your blanket, doing the same thing into every little spot. So keep going, making one little shell into each chain three spot and I'll meet you at the edge of this side. When you reach the corner, it looks a bit sloped down. Our corner is really a, a lot lower. It looks like it's not the actual corner. So that we're still working it there. Don't panic about it. We will work it together. So into the last little chain spot on the slope, do your double crochet, two trebles and one double crochet. Finish it with your single crochet into that stitch. And that gets us to our corner. So now we are officially at our corner. We can kind of rotate our work a little bit so it's ready for our next row of stitches. And now into that corner space, one double crochet. Like that. And we're going to do five treble crochets. So the same the shell that we were doing before, but we're going to be doing more treble crochets. So a total of five treble crochets. If you run out of room, you can kind of push your stitches back. You want them all lining up side by side. There is our five. And one double crochet into the same spot to kind of bring down our hill. And a single crochet into the stitch. So there is our corner shell. Just a little bit bigger than the rest and enough stitches to get us around that corner. Super cute. So keep working away around your blanket, making regular shells into each space along the sides and corner shells into the corner spots. And I will meet you when we get back to where we started. I finished my last shell, so single crochet into the stitch. And this is our last corner. So that'll be a big shell. So double crochet, five treble crochets and one double crochet. 
So there's our big shell. I finished my double crochet and now we've done our single crochet when we started. So we're just going to slip stitch to join. So if you pull that little single crochet, you'll see the top of it open up. We're going to go straight into that single crochet and slip stitch to join. Chain one and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that's it, it's finished. Just weave in your ends and your entire awesome, ideal, perfect baby blanket is ready to be given to a perfect little baby near you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'd love to see yours. You can tag me on Instagram at Secret Yarnery or also over on Facebook, The Secret Yarnery. You can also join our group, The Secret Yarnery Crochet Community, where you can upload your photos. Love to see with the yarn you chose for yours, if you changed colors or made it all in one color. So gorgeous, I'm so excited about this blanket. So thanks so much for hooking along and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked. <laughs>